The guard link on machine interface can bring safety inputs and diagnostic information into a guard logics. 5380 or 5580 safety programmable controller. The subject of today's video is how to manually configure GuardLink taps offline to communicate with the 432ESIG3 GuardLink interface. In a previous video, the 432ESIG3 was added to the GuardLogix IO configuration. The next step is to add devices to each GuardLink channel. If program development is taking place before hardware is powered up, then the taps are manually added to the I.O. configuration. GuardLink nodes can be added manually offline by creating new modules in the GuardLink channel I.O. configuration. Review the hardware design or integrated architecture builder file to confirm the part numbers and node position of the GuardLink taps and GuardLink-enabled devices for each GuardLink channel. Start with the Logix Designer project that has the 432ESIG3 added to the I.O. configuration. Right-click Channel 0, select New Module. Double-click to select the first device of Channel 0, 440S MF5D. Type a meaningful name, Channel 0 Node 0. Node addresses will populate to the next available. If nodes are being created in order, no change will be required. Change module definition to match hardware, in this case Series B, Rev2. Click OK. Change module definition, yes. Click OK. Configure the next node. Double click to select the next device on channel 0, 440S. MF8D. Type a meaningful name, channel 0, node 1. Change module definition to match hardware. Click OK. Change module definition, yes. Click OK. When all nodes on the guard link channel are complete, click Close. Repeat the new procedure and configuration for the next guard link channel. GuardLink nodes can also be exported from an existing GuardLogix project and imported into another project. To export GuardLink nodes, open the Logic Designer project that will be supplying the configuration. In the I.O. configuration, right-click on the GuardLink node to e export. Select Export Module. Select a file export location and select Export. Open the import destination file in Logix Designer. In the I.O. configuration, right-click on the GuardLink channel where the import node is desired. Select Import Module. Select the file to be imported and click Open. The Import Configuration window will open. Operation Create. Change final name if desired then click OK. The GuardLink node is imported. If no changes are being made to the GuardLink node, a node can be copied using copy and paste. In the source project, right-click on node to be copied, copy. In the destination project, right-click on the GuardLink channel, paste. When the GuardLogix processor is available and our all GuardLink devices have been connected and powered up, download the offline file to the controller. Communications, Who Active, select Controller. Download, Verify Destination and Conditions, Download. Change controller back to Run Mode, Yes. In the event GuardLink interface has a safety network number mismatch, ownership will need to be reset. In the I.O. configuration, double-click on the GuardLink interface. From the Safety menu, press Reset Ownership. Read the conditions. Continue with Reset Ownership? Yes. Configured Safety Network Number does not match Safety Network Number in the module. Continue with the Reset of Ownership? 
That is why we are resetting ownership, yes. Requested message timed out, okay. The module should now be running. When the guard link module and taps are configured, we are ready to review the data that flows between the guard link interface and guard logics. Data flow is a topic for another video. Thanks for watching, and hey, let's be careful out there.